first and probably not the last Mabo battle. Well, South Australia may be losing the Grand Prix, but it may become a mecca for another type of thrill seeker. Mountain bikers from around the world could be searching their maps for South Australia, thanks to an American couple who've just spent two weeks here in search of the perfect bike trail. Their resulting documentary is expected to be shown across America and around the world. And they voted South Australia as one of the highlights. Kamala O'Keefe reports. Action. When this group of mountain bikers sped through Adelaide's parklands recently, hardly anyone gave them a second glance. But what they were witnessing was something that could make South Australia a mountain biker's mecca. Okay, that was a good take. You can cut now. Bicycle, bicycle, bicycle. I want to ride my bicycle, bicycle, bicycle. I want to ride my bicycle. I want to ride my bike. Meet the cast and crew of Full Cycle World Odyssey, an independent US video production headed by husband and wife team Mark Schultz and Patricia Mooney a couple who aim to take their mountain bikes where no mountain bike has gone before. The first movie that we saw that kind of inspired us something like this would be Endless Summer, which they use surfboards to go around the world. This is similar to that in vain, except instead of using surfboards and staying along the coastlines, we're on mountain bikes and we're visiting the inner parts of the countries. I think that's a big part. The vicarious thrills. <laughs> we're just exploring, you know. And so it's kind of a, a real life adventure of real life people. <laughs> Mark and Pat's World Odyssey will take in 11 countries and almost two years to complete. Their two-week stay in Australia has focused on several areas of South Australia, including the spectacular Flinders Ranges. For Mark and Pat, it's a chance to revisit some places they first saw a couple of years ago and to share the journey with other biking friends like champion mountain biker Andrew Field. I think it can bring tourism dollars to, to the country, to South Australia, uh, and really get a um, international profile of these wonderful places that we've got to, uh, to show off. How fun is it? A lot of fun. <laughs> More fun than you can say. Yeah! about halfway through the journey right now. We've, uh, we were in India was probably the first leg besides our hometown of San Diego. And in India, uh, being in the Himalayas is probably one of the premier uh, highlights, having Mount Everest in the background. Beautiful scenery, sunrises and sunsets in the Himalayas are fabulous. Um, in Costa Rica, we were riding on the crater of a volcano and also on the ocean floor on mountain bikes. Which sounds a bit strange, yes. We used scuba tanks, and we, uh, um, we, it was a, an experiment that uh, we, we filmed also that we may or may not use in the film, but it was pretty funny, and it was a, it was a blast to try. But having a blast is just one motivation for their journey. Pat and Mark not only want to look at the world's environment, but its environmental problems as well and Australia won't be left out. I think some of the environmental problems that we've investigated while we were here, such as the feral animals running amok, destroying your native ha habitat. We came here in 1990, it didn't seem to be as big of a concern. It is more so now. Also, some of the trails that we rode on when we originally came here in 1990 were at Walpena Pound. Uh, they've closed it off the mountain biking. This has been a few problems. We're hoping that those kind of problems get resolved because it's a beautiful place to bike. And as long as people go out in nature, and enjoy nature, they're no more apt to protect it and save it for the future generation. 
It's a message they both hope will come through loud and clear in their video. That and to show people that you really can make a living doing something you love. My feeling, and I believe Pat's is too, is, is number one, that it's a chance, you know, to make dreams come true. And we like to take our friends who also happen to be working with us on a great, incredible journey, an adventure, if you will, and just try and share that with the rest of the world. Tina must be awfully fit by now, I think. Now, we wanted to speak to someone from Tourism South Australia about that story today, but sadly, it appears they're so tied up in red tape that no one was either available or allowed to talk to us. Let's hope they don't have the same problem with the media interstate and overseas. Now, you don't have to know all about Alice in Wonderland. Dr. Quinn can...